This is a piece of about a quarter inch plexiglass picked up at Lowe's. It's actually 0 0.220 of an inch, so a little smaller than a quarter of an inch. I've got this marked off, and we're going to score it and then snap it. And just breaking these down into our smaller sections. And did a quick round over on these edges, clean these up a little bit. So we've got two pieces here, about four inches by about eight and a half inches. Be careful with this stuff. Use breathing protection and eyewear protection. But these are ready to go into the CNC. Very simple here. Just using a very old version of Illustrator. Brought our text in. We're gonna save this as an SVG and open it up in a really cool program called JS Cut. We have our text from Illustrator brought into JS Cut. It's a really cool free program that runs in your browser. I'm gonna click all of our text letters. Change some settings here. We're in inch format. The diameter of our tool, I'm doing really small for that diamond cutter. About 0.45. Our depth we're going to do about the same, so it's just more like an etch. Pick our operation, we're going to do a pocket, and we'll generate. There's our cut. We can go to simulate. And it's so fast that it's already done it, but you can drag it back here. You can see the cut. And then we simply save our code and open it up in mock. Cool program. The small piece of plexiglass is bolted down. This machine came with these hold downs. And at first I didn't give them much credit. I didn't think that they were all that useful. But they really are. They're very easy to work with. It is what you see. This bolts down to a nut that slides through there. Get that set and then use the top with the protective piece to really hold it down. And it's not going anywhere. Very easy solution. I was using the double sided tape but it was holding so strong that it was actually tearing off pieces of the plywood when I pulled it off. So this seems to be working better. The plexiglass is all tied down. We've got that Dremel diamond bit set up and the file in mock ready to roll. It's also interesting, in using JS Cut, which is that really cool program, the feed rates are not in inches per minute. We're flying in millimeters here, because I can't do a thousand inches per second on this machine. <laughs> but JS Cut, very cool program, very powerful. And I love how quiet this machine is. This is using a very small engraving cutter, a very shallow cut, and a very fast feed rate. I think we're going about 75 inches per minute. This is our second try, our second cut, using that very fine engraving bit. A simple base. That'll be glued there. This will be glued there, and then we'll put some holes for some red LEDs. Some fast, simple wiring. I'm going to use three red LEDs. And then for the power source, these are 12 volt LEDs, but they run fine on 9 volts. So I went through the junk bin and pulled out an old wall supply that we can got 9 volts. 
the view from underneath for our six LEDs. That's the base with a couple front and back supports. There's the base all finished. There's a sign all finished. Very much for taking a look.